Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Dear viewers today we will see five important tips in advanced steel 2022 these tips are applicable for earlier versions also so let's see first one change background color second one how to turn on turn off joint boxes in the view third one copy or transfer joint properties from one to another number four how to draw inclined grid number five how to model tapered section and joint for tapered sections So let's start with number one. We will change background color. Here, type B A C K background. Here now, this is the settings for background with gradient type. If you make it none, it will be like this. Okay. Again, repeat background. If you make it solid, you can choose the color. Like this. It will be like this. gradient for gradient you have to choose the colors here initially two colors you can choose for three colors then go to here or we can go for index color index color this one and then same color here in rgb this is the value we will copy this one press Control C to copy this color code. Initially, we will choose this one. Click on OK. Then for middle color, here paste that color code. Then click anywhere here. Then the color will be available. We will select this one. Click on OK. Then third one again paste the color code click anywhere here then go down for deep color click on ok ok now see in this way we can change background colors now we will go to second tips how to turn on and turn off joint boxes in the view here now joint boxes are turned off in the view so how to turn on go to here quick views select this one quick views then click on this for making all visible see here now all the frame box and join boxes are available now if i want to turn off these boxes from view for clear display then i will go to this filter selection filter then here joint boxes this one click on this then go to here quick views selected objects off this one click on this so now the boxes are turned off from the display so in this way we can turn on and turn off our joint boxes from the view number three copy or transfer joint properties from one to another for example we will change properties of this hunch joint 
first I will turn on the join boxes now select or double click on the join box here go to general here I will make it profile see the plates will be same as the rafter section profile if I change it to plate it will be assigned as plates now if I want to make all the horns joint same with profile and I want to change the length 700 like this now this joint property changed if I want to copy this property to other horns joints we can do it easily go to extended modeling then here transfer properties this one click on this now it is asking select objects we will select the objects of the joint boxes where we want to transfer the properties click on this 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 and this now right click select part of connection template now the connection template we will choose this one now see all the horns joint properties changed again I am showing if I want to change it to plates I can change it I will change, go to general horns make it plates close now if I want to make it similar for other horns joints I can do it very easily go to extended modeling select this transfer properties option click on this then it will ask select objects of the joint where we want to copy the copy or transfer the property so select the object this one this one this one this one this one I have selected the objects press on right click or you can press enter or space button in the keyboard I am pressing right click of the mouse right click now select the part of connection template this is the connection from where we want to copy properties so select this one done now we can see parts of the horns joint are now assigned as plates so in this way we can copy or transfer properties of joint from one to another now come to tips number four how to draw inclined grids let's go to another file here we can draw grid using this building grid first node 0 0 enter then for example 20,000 millimeter by 30,000 millimeter like this we can go to top view here two grids generated one along 
x axis another along y axis we can change the distance display type single axis close this one now this will be in group but we can move the axis singly like this for example we want to move this grid 2000 millimeter like this this one 1000 millimeter like this now for inclined grids we can draw single grid line go to here objects then here we will get single axis select this one from this point this side this is showing 0 degree this side it is showing 90 degree for example our inclined grid is 60 degree in with respect to this line okay so we can go in this direction then press tab to edit angle as along this horizontal direction the angle is showing 90 degree so for 60 degree with this horizontal direction we will add 60 plus 90 that means 150 degree press enter okay so now this angle is 60 degree we can edit the its length for example 25 25 meter we can change it to small letter or capital letter or number here automatic level we will turn off balloon we can provide aging single axis here we can change its name 1a okay close this one for this grids we can make it aging like this and horizontal grids with capital letter aging like this now this inclined grid if we want to move we can move it from here to here like this this is single axis so in this way we can create inclined grid in advanced steel now how to model tapered section and joint for tapered sections so let's see we will go to home here we will see the welded beams or tapered here welded beam types and this one first one is tapered click on this vertically provide the length for example 5 meter 5000 millimeter we will delete the grids here we can provide different segments 1 2 3 4 for adding new segment click on new it will add another segment if we need only one segment we will delete this okay so bottom one wave height 200 top wave height 450 like this in this way we can model tapered section for connection in between tapered sections we will model 
another tap out section from here go to front side along this direction any length and segment I'll delete 450 200 okay we can change flange width also flange 1 or upper flange lower flange width we can change from here we can provide different widths this one 200 millimeter this one 300 millimeter and if it is variable then here we can change the width at end also okay now we will provide connection in between these two tapered section now go to connection vault now go to beam end to end here select this option front plate splice select the objects then right click then reference object this one right click it is creating joint in this way so we can change this one go to general make it symmetrical like this now go to plate one projection projection top 60 millimeter bottom 60 millimeter bolt groups gauze distance this one 80 millimeter for example here only one group assigned for bolt number of line for bolt 2 1 2 this one we can change it to 6 start distance 0 or minus 30 intermediate distance 100 like this we can make it 7 for another bolt here minus 35 here 100 like this we can change the view option conceptual see here in this way we can create connection in between tapered sections in advance still so we have seen five important tips for advanced steel if you get this helpful for you then press like button for this video and if you have not subscribed yet you can subscribe the channel for important updates on different civil engineering software and knowledge and you can press bell button to get notification for every new uploads Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.